Hello, and in this video, we're not doing a tutorial or anything like that. This time we have an unboxing video because what we have arrived today is the Wave Mic Palm LP from Elgato. The LP stands for low profile. So if you don't know what that means, uh, it's easiest if I just show you. Let's switch over to the second camera for a minute. So as you can see here, this is how I normally have my mic set up. You can see the mic here in front of me. You've got the arm I normally have over to one side of the desk. It goes up and then comes back down again. And the kind of cables are kind of there. You don't see it on, on the videos and on my stream, but I see it. It looks messy. It looks untidy. And I can move this around like that. It's kind of kind of works. But the Elgato Wave Mic Arm LP, the LP stands for low profile. And what that means is rather than it kind of going up and down, it stays quite low but flat. Um, and the idea is you'd normally attach it perhaps to the, the, the back of the desk and it would like come underneath the monitor, above the keys and just rest in front. So that's what I've got. I'm going to do the unboxing to see what it looks like, see if I can get it set up with this mic currently. Uh, I might even ditch the shock art, the shock mount at this point, but we'll see. Um, but we'll test it out, see what happens. What is in this box? Let's find out. So let's open up the box. And I'm opening it up back to front. But what you can see already is instructions. Do we need to look at them? Probably not. Let's take some of these parts out. First of all, let's look at this. The Elgato logo on the clamp. This part here, which as you can see, swivels. This part also comes apart like that. And you can see there, you've got the one quarter inch thread on the end there which is actually exactly the same as the, the, the Nano, the Blue Yeti Nano that I've got, in fact. So in theory, I could just directly connect it up to this. But we'll see how that works in a bit. This also actually comes, in fact, let me move the box. Uh, and I will take this out as well. In this packet here, what do we got? Let's open it up and find out. So we've got an Allen key there, and we've got two threads as well, two gold threads there. It looks like you can convert the one quarter inch there to a uh what that be a three eighths and a five eighths yeah there we go so we've got two threads there ready to go for different uses so what are we going to do well we need to place that into this part here i guess is the first step maybe i should clamp this down first on, the, on my desk before i do the rest yeah why it's pretty straightforward isn't it i mean all you're really doing here is sliding things into existing holes it's not exactly rocket science there we go. We clamp that down. I should probably tighten that up. This isn't going to be my final place where I or where I use this. Aside from this demo, I think I will probably end up moving it so that it's at the back of the desk. So let's slide that one into there. Okay, so now you can see there. Now on the side here, there is actually a socket there. You probably can't see it in this light, but you can actually, this is where the Allen key goes, so you can loosen these up and tighten them up as needed also on the top of this inside here this lifts off magnetic strip there which allows you to place in try and do this and loosen it again so you can see but it allows you to place the cables inside so once you've attached your mic to this end here you can then run the the cable from the mic all the way up and place this back on like that and then out to the bottom also what would be good with this is perhaps to put any spare threads in there because you know you never know you might change your um, mic at some point or your shock arm shock mount um and also I almost lost it myself the allen key it's going to be very important that you keep this safe because with something like this the more you kind of move it about it's going to get loose the same with your chairs you know any kind of chair that you have they tend to get loose over time, so it's always worth having the Allen key around somewhere that you know where, where you're going to find it. And it makes perfect sense in this setup. You might as well just place it inside there, and then that way you're not going to lose it. Uh, pro tip, I would say. Now, I need to unplug the mic that I've got on the up here on this arm, and I'm going to put it onto this one. Okay, so we're back now, and as you can see, I'm actually holding the mic in front of me. So I'm about to attach this, and we're going to see where we go with this. I'm going to put this down for a minute and hopefully you can still hear me here but uh so what we're going to do is this as i said is the exact same thread for the 
Yeti Nano. So the Blue Yeti Nano. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is just bend that so that it's that's the right way. And I'm probably gonna tighten this up as well. Um, so the the one at the back here doesn't have any kind of form of joint on it. So that's this this side here is not gonna move from. It's gonna stay like that basically. But this part here has an arm that will go quite a way up. So you've got a choice here how you want to. It's quite flexible here. Um, but we're going to just tighten it up. We've run into a problem here. It turns out that although the thread on this is the same, it's a one quarter inch thread there, and it's the same as the thread on the Blue Yeti Nano. The issue that we've got is that this black stopper part here actually gets in the way of where the USB cable connects because the base of the, the Blue Yeti Nano is actually quite small. So you've got no space and there's no, it's not going to have a nice tight fitting for the USB cable. So but essentially, even if the light on the front of this actually comes on, the PC isn't going to recognize it. And that's obviously a problem. So this is where we're going to need to use the gold threads. Now, for me, as I said earlier, I've got a shock mount connected. I bring that one into shock there. I could use that. Um, there's some options here. Either connect my mic back up to the shock mount and then uh, use the, one of these gold threads on, on the end of this. What that would mean is I could then connect up my shock mount and then just connect my mic up that way. So maybe we could do it like that. Um, the alternative is if you've got the right sort of connector uh, to some sort of adapter that converts the uh, quarter, one quarter inch thread on your uh, Blue Yeti Nano to a female connector that's probably like a, a 3 8 or 5 8 that would that would also give you the same result as it happens i do have a spare adapter for that um, because it turns out my shock mount requires the same adapter so that my blue yeti mic can connect to it so like that that's what we're going to do and i think i might just try it out with the shock mount so let's do that next and see how we get on so now we're going to connect the shock mount to this and then from there, I should then be able to reconnect this to that. So let's unscrew my shock mount. Shock. There you go. You can see that I'm unscrewing my shock mount. And I'm going to connect that up to this one over here. There we go. Tighten that back on. That gives us shock mount on the arm. Need to make sure again i need to make sure that these are tight otherwise we're going to have all sorts of issues you can already see the weight on that is already starting to because i didn't tighten this up earlier so let me do that let's tighten up this connection again tighten tighten, tighten. that's that's looking more stable for now uh, so we're going to have that. That's looking good. That's looking good. So we're all set up now. You can see that I actually have the, the shock mount there. My mic is connected. You can obviously hear me. So that's working. And I've got the cable running now. This cable is actually has bent out of shape so long. So if you get a better cable, a newer cable that isn't so messed up like mine is, then that would be nice and smoothly hidden underneath this panel here. Comes out here and then back in here. It would have been nice if they could have actually done it sort of internally somehow. I don't know how they would have done that. That would have been nicer than in and out, in and out. But, you know, it's still, I think, better than I had before. Now, I'm going to switch to my main scene and see if I can get the, the positioning right on here. But as you can see, I've got loads of space under here now to talk. I can see the screen, I can see the camera, everything pretty much as I had it before. Let's switch back to my main scene. Uh, fall it fully and see how it looks. Now that's probably too high to how I normally do it. I'm bring it, bring it, bring it back down a little bit. But how's that? I mean, that's that's pretty good. I like it. I'm happy. Um, as I say, I would probably move my arm now over to the back. But even as it stands, I actually quite like it. Even over here, this is still better than having this. Well, this is the end of it now. But this this arm here, if I switch back into my second camera again you'll see what i'm talking about so this here is and i mean don't get me wrong i did like this particular arm this arm's pretty cool it's got a nice spring on it it's quite sturdy um yeah it's a good good arm i did like this arm i forget what it was called now unfortunately um, I'll, I'll mention it in the description if you can still get them i'll mention it in the description on where i got it from let's flip over and see how it would look without this with a different thread 
And this is what it would look like if you didn't have the shock mount and you literally just had the gold thread that you get from the wave arm box and then a thread adapter as well for the mic that enables it to support it. It gives you just enough space there below the actual, if I turn that around a bit, you can probably just about see. Can I turn it around enough so you can see it? Uh, yeah, you can see it there. There's the cable there connecting. That there is the, uh, it gives you enough headroom there between the, the mic base and the bit below it to put the mic in and put the cable in correctly. So that's just something to be aware of if you are a blue yet a blue yeti nano owner looking to use this mic but would i recommend it yes i think it's a thoroughly good mic arm very nice low profile arm you can see here i've got enough space here i'll have even more space when i move it around to the back of the desk and it's coming over this way love it good mic good addition to the setup and i'm really happy with it see you in the next video oh that's brilliant though oh yeah <laughs>